The fan we are wiring is a Panasonic Whisper Green Select FV0511VKS1. This fan has a multi-speed timer pre-installed. We will use the red signal wires to get the fan to do spot ventilation. To do this, we will fish a new wire from the attic down the wall and into the existing switch box. We will also need constant power at the fan. For constant power, we will use the existing wire that went to the old fan. Okay, first we're going to go to the switch box. We're going to unscrew that switch, pull it out of there. So we're trying to accomplish two things here right now. We're trying to run constant power up to the fan. And also we're getting this box ready to fish a wire down from the attic into this box. So to feed constant power to that fan, we're going to just simply clip the black wires. Our ground is already junctioned. Our neutral is all junctioned. So we're just simply going to put the two black wires together. And then when the power is restored, we'll have constant power at the fan. Put these back here. Wire nut them together. So now we've taken that switch out of the equation. Now we're going to get ready to fish that wire down. The first thing I'm going to do is take a screwdriver and I'm going to knock a knockout out of the back of this box, which is plastic, but even a metal box, they'll have some kind of a knockout for you to poke out of there and uh, drop a wire down through. Okay, we're going to uh, try to fish this wire uh, up the wall and then in here to the attic. So you can see what I've done here. I've drilled a big hole right by the small hole that the electric wire was in. And when I do that, I just use myself, I think I used about an inch and three quarter drill bit here and just drill that fairly close to the other hole. So that way, when your hole is through there, you can see straight down into the box. So you, if you look at that, you can see straight down the box. You can see where that is knocked out and just an open spot to now get a wire down. So what I'm going to use here is a, a fiberglass electrical fishing rod that I'm just simply going to drop down the hole and looking from above I'm just looking for where that knockout is done and just drop that fiberglass rod right in the hole. Now I can go down into the bathroom and I can hook my electric wire to that fiberglass rod then I'll pull that wire straight up into the attic. We're back down here in the bathroom so what I'm going to do now is you can see the the fish stick is in there I'm going to just reach in with my needle nose pliers grab that bend that right out of the box grab my Romex and electrical tape and I'm going to tape this wire to the fiberglass rod. You don't need tons of tape but you want to use plenty so it doesn't pop off on you. I've got that taped on there I'm going to push it right back in the box, work that through the hole, and then now back in the attic, and I will pull that wire up into the attic. So we're back here in the attic. We've got our fiberglass rod. We're just simply going to pull that wire straight up through the hole. Keep pulling slowly. Now we've got that pulled back into the attic, give ourselves enough slack to get over to the fan. You don't really ever want to short that, leave yourself plenty. We're just going to cut it off. And now we're going to get ready to make the electrical connection. Okay, we're back down here in the bathroom. We've got that wire fished through. I've got the sheathing already stripped off it, so now we're just ready to make our connections. Uh, remember here that we've, we've done this here. This was going to take our constant power up to the fan. So now we have to just hook the black and white up to the switch here for our to our red signal wires. So we'll just start with the ground wire here. Get that connected. 
And then we will strip these back and these will go directly onto that single pull switch. So it doesn't matter which screw you put them on. got those connected so now let's just work our wires back in the box and we'll get ready to put the switch back in so there you have it we're just gonna screw that back in and then we'll put our cover plate on and we will be done okay we're back over here in the attic um, we're gonna hook these wires up so the first wire here, this is the old wire that I took off of the, the fan. I put a little black tape on it here just because we're going to use that to uh, carry constant power up here to the fan. The other wire here, this is the one that we fished down the wall and it's going to be, it's hooked up to the single pull switch. So we'll take these to the red wires for spot ventilation. So first thing we'll do is get our grounds hooked up here. To the fan. Separate these here. Next thing we're going to do is uh, hook into the common and neutral. Again, this is the the old wire that we took off the fan that we're now using to feed constant power up here from the switch box. Hook that neutral up first. Now we'll hook our common. Up. Now we're just down to our signal wires, the red signal wires, again, they, they never carry voltage. So we're just going to hook up red to black. And red to white. Now we have all our wires connected, so again we're pulling power from that switch box. So we now have constant power to the fan that will run the uh, multi-speed timer. Then we also have our red signal wires that we fish down the wall and connect it into the switch box. So we should be able to turn power on and have this fan running. 